10 Banned Candies That Can Kill Who doesn't like to have some candy once in a while? And there are plenty to choose from. No matter how old you get, your love for candy never dies. While you might limit yourself from overdosing with the sugar rush though, you probably won't completely stop having them. Candies have this mysterious power of lifting our bad mood always. Candies and a good time is a tale that is as old as time. They are true lifesavers. But in the case of certain candies, it might not be true. Production of certain candies has been stopped for obvious reasons. And in the case of some of these, it was because they were life destroyers. Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another gripping episode of Stay Wise. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the candies which have been banned for bizarre reasons. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Alright, let's dive in. On number 10 we have exploding gum. Candy companies are desperately trying to come up with something new every season, and with a new ray of hope for their sales to skyrocket. One such incident was when a Ukrainian chemistry student in year 2009, after he supercharged his bubble gum that had devastating results. He liked to increase the sour taste of his favorite brand, so he would often dip it into citric acid before chewing. But soon one day, he used the wrong powder and instead dipped it into explosives. All it took was one chew and his gum exploded in his mouth. Most of the lower part of his face was blown to pieces and he died soon after. This insane recipe is off the hook and won't be reaching any of the candy shops anytime soon. Number 9. Roadkill Gummy Candy There are different kinds of gummy candy available in the stores. In the year 2004, Kraft thought that they had come up with the idea which would stand out among all the gummy candy. Each one of them was made in the shape of chickens, squirrels, and snakes with the marks of tire tracks on them. They ended production of the treats by the following year due to a series of campaigns by animal activists who claimed that they were promoting the idea of injuring animals. They further added that the product sent a message to children that it was okay to harm animals. Kraft was forced to rethink and relent their strategy. Number 8. Candy Cigarettes As the name suggests, they resembled a box of cigarettes that were made from sugar gum or chocolate that was wrapped in paper in a pack. They first began to be sold in the late 1800s. Some of its varieties even included powdered sugar that you could blow through the candy stick to simulate the smoke. They began to be seen as a way to desensitize children to the idea of smoking. However, and for a time, cigarette manufacturers even helped with the production of the candy and allowed their branding to be used on the packets. The medical organizations became more aware of the dangers of smoking. These collabs became less common, and hence the products have been banned in almost every other country around the world, apart from the US and Canada. Studies have shown that a percentage of smokers who had candy cigarettes when they were younger was higher than the people who didn't smoke. So the link between the two has been proved to be significant. What seems like an innocent children's treat is probably responsible for the most deaths of any candy ever, and it's no surprise that scarce places now allow these to be sold. Number 7. Free Candy Who doesn't like things that are free of cost? We all run to the shops when we hear about big sales or discounts in the markets. Who are we kidding? Free candy is one of those candies which are free, duh, but in Madrid, Spain, the tradition of giving sweet treats for free has been banned. On the 5th of January every year, towns across the country hold a Christmas parade called Caligat de Deus, which sees three wise men greeting children before handing out gifts. These men are taken through the streets to a church in a carriage, and part of the tradition involves throwing candy from the carriage into the crowds. However, it has led to several injuries as children scramble to collect what they can, and something unfortunate happened in the year 2013. A six-year-old boy, Malego, was killed when he went into the street to collect some candy and was hit by the carriage. Rules are now in place to prevent such tragedies from ever happening again, and children in the region will have to resort to getting their candy the same way as the rest of us, by annoying their parents until they come around. Number 6. Hippie Sippy The 60s were the most experimental times of all. Probably that's the only explanation for how a product like Hippie Sippy ever made it to the market eventually. They consisted of multicolored chocolate balls contained with a vial, and to get them, you had to suck through the meal. The similarities to drug use weren't accidental, but were in fact the whole point of this candy. 
They were designed to replicate hippie drug culture with the needle and syringe being associated with heroin use and colored balls representing uppers and downers. To make things even worse, they came up with slogans that say, I'll try anything and we sell happiness. Needless to say, they were pulled from the shelves less than a year after being released as they were spreading the wrong message to the children, using drugs is fun. So this could have potentially been one of the most dangerous products ever to have been developed. Number 5. Kinder Eggs Kinder Eggs and Wonder Balls are one of the candies that are the dearest to all children and some adults too, if we're being honest. The specialty of these candies was that they came with a plastic toy to play with once all the sugary goodness is gone. Kinder is available worldwide. Each Kinder Egg contains a collectible toy to assemble, but it has been banned in the US for a long time. It was due to a law passed in the 1930s that strictly prohibits non-nutritive objects from being placed inside any type of food. The major concern was that some people wouldn't be aware that there was something in the treat that can't be eaten, and it would lead to a serious choking hazard. While this may seem like an overzealous lawmaking, the concern isn't completely insane. In the year 2016, a three-year-old girl in France died after choking on a toy in a Kinder Egg and there have been several instances where injuries have happened because of swallowing the plastic figurines. Despite several desperate attempts to bring the candies back to the US, it looks like the ban is here to stay. Number 4. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears Haribo is one of the world's most popular candy brands, but despite making plenty of products that kids and grown-ups love, they hadn't always gotten things right. In 2014, their sugar-free gummy bears gained major attention mainly because of the side effects experienced by the people who ate them in large quantities. This was because of the replacement of sugar, like glycosin, a substance that's almost as sweet as sugar but contains half the calories. Its main ingredients are maltitol, sugar alcohol, and our bodies can't fully digest these. If it's present in high quantities, it can start to ferment in our stomach. Because of this, Amazon reviews were rather detailed, with some calling it napalm, and saying that it caused intestinal distress. Number 3. Toxic Waste Chew Bar The specialty of the Toxic Waste Chew Bar was in its extreme sourness, and it was trendy. But there was one other similar product called Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar that was banned in 2011. It had originally been launched in 2007, but there was serious concern about the ingredients used to make the candy. The company's factory in Pakistan and the following test, the FDA revealed that they had detected significant levels of lead within the chew bars to a level that could be potentially harmful to small children, infants, and pregnant women. The regulation requires lead levels to be below 0.1 parts per million, but the bars were found to have at least three times the required lead levels. Hence, they were removed from the stores and they are gone for good. Number 2. Lucas Mexican Candy it was one of the most in-demand products around the world from South America. Lucas Mexican candy was controversial from the very beginning. The candy was sold in a shaker container that children could use to shake it into their mouths. Some were seen shaking the powder onto the table, arranging it into a line and then sniffing it, which immediately worried people about the similarity to drug use. Lucas claimed that this resulted from using the product wrong and then it was designed to be lightly sprinkled on fruit to make it taste better. But later, when their test showed in, they found that they had twice the amount of lead that is to be allowed. Hence, they were immediately banned by the regulators. Finally, on number one, we have Lolly's Pipe. Lolly's Pipe was available in a wide range of flavors, and it was inevitable that kids would get their hands on them as they were never intended to be sold to children. Made from candy, these were designed for smoking certain substances, and one of their marketing claims that they were flame-proof so they could be used time and time again. They became really popular with smokers, but they were believed to encourage children to try out what they were designed for, promoting drug use by underaged people. The pipe was banned thereby in every 7-Eleven store in Indiana, following complaints by parent groups. Which candy do you miss the most? Do let us know in the comment section. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.